Hi Disney fans, thanks for joining me again. We're going to do some more Disney planning today. I'm going to be talking about my Disney World binder. I am a planning, organizing freak, so I love to do things um, like planning for vacations. And this is the binder that I use to keep all my information organized. Um, all I got was your regular three ring binder at the local pharmacy. Um, I think it was Rite Aid. And um, it has a clear front that I just printed this picture out, slipped it right in, and I have a customized little binder. Okay, let's take a closer look. On the cover, you'll see a picture of the Fab Five. It's just a file that I found on the internet, and I put in Disney World 2014 on the front there. Um, mm -hmm. I'm still using the binder for this year, just haven't changed the cover. When you open it up, on the left you'll see a souvenir that we had from our trip last year. Um, these are notes that Tinkerbell left us in her room. We didn't stay on site, so I thought it would be something a little special for the kids to see. And then behind that you'll see our double stroller rental confirmation. You need a double stroller. When you have two little kids, you need it. Uh, then we have the Disney Cruise Line check-in form to bring with us when we um, get to port. And behind that, I have copies of our kids' birth certificates, because you'll need that as well. Then over here is a schedule that we used for um, our last trip. Down the left are the days of the week that we were going to be um, in Orlando. And at the top, I had which park we'd be at, breakfast, lunch, dinner, and then just an other file. And I would list where we would eat for breakfast, lunch, dinner, and then um, any additional notes I would just write on the side. Then here is our character sheet. I have a list of all the characters that you can find in the parks. And in the middle is their locations, whether they're in the Magic Kingdom, Animal Kingdom, Epcot, Hollywood Studios. And I also would make a note if um, it was the only location that you could find them at, so I made sure that we would get there. We could get those Disney autographs. And here is the Press Penny locations. My daughter had a lot of fun with those. I did too. I highlighted the ones that I thought would be uh, extra special for her. Now these files I just made myself. It's cardstock paper and I cut it out to have a little tab. And this one's for the Animal Kingdom. And this is the map of the Animal Kingdom. And behind that you'll see um, notes about it. Also, um, those were average wait time charts. Um, and then behind that are different menus for restaurants that you can find in the park. And all these resources I got online, um, easywdw.com, um, I also use the mouseforless.com, really great resources out there. This is Epcot. Again, I have average wait times and all different restaurants. Uh, there are menus in the back there for reference. Then this is Hollywood Studios. Again, the map from EasyWDW, uh, average wait times, and more menus. I hear Hollywood Studios is doing a big revamp, though, so we'll see what stays and what goes. And then this is Magic Kingdom, again, with the map, more information, average wait times. We've got more menus. We're hoping to dine at Be Our Guest. Check out my other video for updates on Be Our Guest. Um, but then I also added some other information to the back here. This is pictures of where to find certain characters. It was our first time going there, so I wanted to make sure that I knew what I was doing. And this is tips on the Buzz Lightyear ride. We had a lot of fun on that. Although I did prefer Toy Story Mania. <laughs> and then um, this is fireworks viewing. The best viewing is in the green, followed by the orange. We actually watched the fireworks right here in the orange, and I thought it was perfect viewing. I had no complaints. This section had to do with our hotel stay, so it was our hotel confirmation, uh, any other additional information we needed. We stayed at the Sheridan Vistana. It was very comfortable. This is our flight information um, on the way down and also for the way back. And then last I have a Walt Disney World map and also a packing list. Um, that packing list was from wdwprepschool.com. She has a lot of uh, resources too. 
And this was a little sticker that I made on the Disney website. It's awfully cute, just stuck it in the back there. So that's it. Thanks again for joining me. Um, stay tuned, I'll have more planning videos coming up for you soon, as well as our trip vlog. Um, we're gonna be doing Disney World as well as a Disney cruise on the Fantasy, so stay tuned for that. Thanks, bye.